So now we're going to look at how to just create a basic appointment. There's two ways you can do it. One way is to select when you want the appointment to happen. So let's say I wanted to have an appointment uh, tomorrow the 28th from 11 to 12. I can highlight the time and then type in what I'm going to do. And then hit the Save button. And now I've just created a simple uh, one hour appointment. It's just for me. Don't really need any other information. The other way you can create an appointment is coming down here to the red plus sign, create event. And this is going to give you a dialog box. And here you would uh, type in the information, the title. You would pick the date that you want that appointment to happen. We'll put that on Thursday and we'll pick the time. We'll make it at 9 a.m. Uh, by half an hour, that's in the settings of my default. We'll make it an hour. Um, the location, um, I could add conferencing. Um, if this was my primary calendar, which this is the um, test calendar I created, the uh, conferencing will probably be there automatically, but I could add that if it didn't show. Notification would also probably be there in your de default calendar, but if it's not, you can add it. Um, you can create uh, reminders, notification reminders, minutes, hours, days, or weeks before this appointment. And so you have that ability. You can add multiple as well. What calendar it's going to go into, the test uh, training account is where it's going. Um, any calendar that you have edit or more permission to, you can add appointments from this window. Um, the default color that you've picked for your calendar shows up. You could pick a different color if you wanted to. Um, you could color code your appointments. Uh, busy, this is important um, because um, unless you turn it off, everyone can see your free busy time within the APU community or your dom domain if you're from somewhere else. Um, and by say, having busy set, they see that you have time blocked off. But unless you've given edit or view details permission, they only see busy. So you can set that. If you wanted to be available during that time for meetings, you could change it to free. In this case, we want to keep it busy. Default visibility. Um, if you've shared your calendar with someone else, they would be able to see the information based on the level of access. But you might have an appointment where you don't want them to see the details, even though they can see the details of everything else. You can come here and make it private, and then even those people that you've given permission to your calendar to will only see busy. Um, here's where you can attach a document. You can attach an office document, pictures, um, a Google Drive document, you have formatting features, um, a description. If you need to write more information to yourself, you can do that here. And then once you're done, you hit save and you've created a basic appointment.